Greetings and welcome to WebAssist. I'm Athlan and today I'm going to show you how to point your domain to an external IP but keep mail local. Very simple, let's jump right in. What you'll want to do here is make four entries in your zone file. The first two entries will be email entries, the second two will be hosting entries. Let's go to cPanel and let's get started. Once logged into cPanel, we'll look for our domain section. We'll scroll down. Once you see the domain section, look for the zone editor link. Click that. It'll then load your zone editor. Yeah, you'll have all your domains that are hosted on this particular hosting account. In my case, I've only got one. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, if you are running another control panel, for example, Plesk um, or some other uh, control panel, maybe a proprietary one, um, the principle is exactly the same as you can follow with, um, you'll be able to manage this without an issue. Now we want to click the manage link. Now we see um, all of the zone records on our zone file listed here. Okay, so let's get started. What we want to do now is um, have a look at the email entry. So it'll be those two there. We're first going to check for uh, number one, and then we're going to make sure that number two is there. Okay, so let's get let's get going now. Um, okay, so I'm looking for that MX entry. I see it there. It's perfect. I'm happy with that. I don't have to add anything. I don't have to edit it. I can leave it as is. The point or entry number two that will be um, the local the second part of the the email entry that will be the local server IP. Now, currently, if you have a look at it there. Um, that is a C name and it points to that domain. Okay, we will, we're going to have to change that now. Um, if you didn't have this entry, you could simply um, add it as per um, point number two. Or if you've got something along these lines, you can delete it or edit it. I'm going to um, edit it because it's uh, easier. So what I'm going to do is obviously click that edit button. I'm going to change it from a C, C name to an A record. And then I'm going to put in this server's IP. The local server where my email is currently hosted which is that one there so that'll be 197.242.157.17 and then i'll save that record so we've gone from a c name we've changed it to an a record okay so that's it simple as that i'm happy with that now we can do the second part which was the hosting entries let's have a look at that so we are going to add point three and point four there so what we now, now need to do is look for our a entry that points to our current hosting um, server dom uh, ip number pardon me okay so there it is what i'm going to do here now and this is important i'm going to edit this and i'm going to change it from the local server to the outside server in this example, I'm just using a, a generic uh, IP number. The IP number that you'll put in there is IP number for your server. If you're not sure of what the IP number is, contact your hosting company, whoever's doing your, your managing your, your server for you or your hosting account, they'll be able to give you that IP number. As you can see there for number three, we've changed it from the local server IP, which was that one, as you can see here, yeah, they're all listed. We've changed it to the outside server IP. It stays in a record. Okay, now the next thing we have to do um, as per number, uh, point number four now, but pardon me, we have to make sure that that C name is correct. All righty, let's go and do that. So um, I want to have a look if we've got a C name. Okay, and we do have the C name listed correctly. So there's nothing else I have to do here. Everything's fine. Um, I just want to explain why that C name is there in case you are wondering. Um, if you have a look at the, the A record there, that's your main A record. And it's pointing to your server. So if someone types in your a domain name to visit your website without the www, um, it'll take them to that IP there and it'll resolve correctly. Um, if they type it in, if you didn't have the C name yet, and someone typed in www before your domain name, it wouldn't resolve. So what we've done here is just made sure that if someone types in www.demoaccount.com 
that it would actually point to demoaccount.com and, and redirect to whatever IP number was listed there. So that's why we do that. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Uh, please remember, if you don't understand everything or how this works, it's not an issue. You'll still be able to get it to work correctly as long as you've made sure that those four entries are correct. So don't worry about it. If you don't understand it, you should be fine. Thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. Uh, if you like the content, please hit the subscribe button. And then, of course, click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload new videos. Thanks so much. Have a super day.